Hey everybody, welcome again. I'm Marty Mangello from the United States Presidential Culinary Museum and enjoying another episode of Inside the President's Cabinet. Well, guys, today we are going to enjoy this episode about President Carter. And actually, this episode is where President Carter springs White House employees from the slammer. Oh, guys, <laughs> did you know that the most famous item of the Carter presidency in the White House is actually a beer? Um, Billy Beer, his brother, showed up and had a hand truck and brought some in. And of course, the social secretary warned the Secret Service, don't you dare say anything. He's going up to the Oval and he's gonna do whatever he's doing, but you are not stopping him. Well, it's an unauthorized item um, coming into the White House and we don't allow that here. Don't say a thing, okay? We're not having an embarrassing episode today. Uh, of course, uh, his brother, Billy, uh, then hands out six packs in the Oval Office to several people. And the Secret Service goes crazy because we do not allow food items, gang, to be handed out to other heads of state from all over the world of untested, unlicensed, unauthorized drinks or food. We burn all the food. I covered that in one of the previous episodes. When you guys send pies and cakes to the White House, every day it goes in a dumpster and gets lit on fire. Um, of course, uh, the president's brother says, uh, is there a problem with it? I'm just here to hand out six packs to folks. Let them enjoy it. Of course, the Secret Service does ask him, um, Mr. Carter, was it your intent then to come into the program, the Secret Service program and feature the presidential seal on your cans? Not really, why would we do that? Um, because we would need to come down to uh, Georgia and you know bring some scientists and chefs and Secret Service agents and you know check the barley and the hops and we do all that with our chefs and so sounds kind of intrusive to me. I don't think so. Um, well, we still kind of need to come down anyway, sir, if you're going to be handing out six packs in the Oval. Um, so they do. Kind of scares a lot of people to have all these people around at the factory. Uh, James Earl Carter, a Libra uh, at five foot ten, became the President of the United States at 52 years old. So I know people always ask me, how old was that President? So President Carter was 52. He came into the White House and his wife Rosalind hired a very talented and famed executive pastry chef that I worked with for many years. Roland Messnier. Although he did battle immediately with Nancy Clark, our famous White House florist who has passed away at this time. But together, these two were like fight match. It's on. Somebody ought to ring a bell right now. Ding, ding. Um, a lot of altercations with them. One of the things that shocked me about Roland was at the 2012 Washington Winter Show, he mentioned uh, that the Carters actually really didn't like peanuts. And so I was like a bit surprised because everybody I think remembers the president was a very famous peanut farmer from Georgia. But when um, Roland mentioned also that they had this nasty and disgusting uh, cheese ring that would be made I kind of found that off-putting that he was saying that on stage to thousands of people in Washington, D.C. But it is a very famous dish that Rosalind asked to be made, and uh, it was a mixture of Munster, cheddar, and all the stickiest cheese you can find. And then they end up putting onions and capers and strawberry jam in with that recipe. So a super famous Carter dish that was served. Uh, like many presidents coming into office, he was soon told all about how much money is spent for state dinners. And the president himself said that he believes the American people um, shouldn't be paying for beautiful flowers in the White House like this. Uh, one of my friends, Nancy Clark, her florist in the White House for 25 years, I absolutely loved her work. She chronicled in her book that one of her high-end designers, Ron Payne, 
um, mentioned, we would go out and pick and cut flowers for the White House in the city parks, at the National Zoo. Um, people would stop us getting the wildflowers and then up on the Rock Creek Parkway to pluck daffodils. And that's where the police stopped one of the guys one day and mentioned, yeah, sure, buddy, you're from the White House. You're up here on the side of this hill and people, if we have received numerous calls and reports that there's someone up here and eh, what, what is all this for? What is, um, this poor guy had to call Ron and beg him. They took me in. I'm down here in prison and I mean, I swear to God, somebody had better get me out of here. They think I'm a liar. It's fake news and they're not letting me go, okay? And they took all the flowers, so, oh my gosh, the White House had to intervene to get him out. Hey, thanks friends so much for joining us again. I really appreciate it. You can subscribe right down there. Uh, we would love for you to subscribe, so click on subscribe. And looking forward to seeing you again real soon for another episode of Inside the President's Cabinet.